In the previous tutorial, I'll put a link here. We caught the camera ID. Now we just have to do one more thing before we connect to the actual camera itself. And that's going to be creating a background thread. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, in this tutorial we're going to create a background thread. You've probably seen me mention this in other tutorials as well. We want to remove any loading or time-consuming tasks of the UI thread. And this is quite pertinent to the camera application as well. And so we're going to set up a background thread now to push any time-consuming tasks off the UI thread, therefore not affecting the UI behavior as such on uh, running our application. Okay, let's make a start here. I'm going to set up two members, one for the thread itself, one for handler to the thread. I'll create the thread itself, which happens to be called a handler thread. So I'll call it member background handler thread. And now we'll create that handler itself. I'll call it M background handler. Now, you choose uh, the Android OS handler for this, not the logging. Background handler. Right, I've created both my members. Now I need to create a start with background thread and a stop background thread methods. I'll stick those down at the bottom. You can stick them anywhere you want. Uh, start background thread. First thing to do is to call our thread there and we'll initialize that object. And you need to pass in a string, so I'm just going to call it sort of what my application name is called camera to video image. Once you've created that background thread, you need to start it. And once it's created and started, we can then set up a handler pointing to that thread. In background handler, create that object. And in here, we actually call our thread and to get looper as such. Okay, so this will actually set up our background thread. So we'll be able to pass this handler into other camera to API method calls. So all its tasks get pushed onto this particular thread off the UI thread. Okay, once we start a background thread, we're going to want to stop it sometime. Let's create a method for that. I think I'll call it stop stop background thread. Okay, first thing we'll do is we'll call the thread and there's a method called quit safely, so we'll call that. Once we've called that, we need to call join. Now what this will do is it will block on the thread, it will stop anything else from interrupting it. So it'll let us clean up our resources safely without being interrupted by any other applications. Okay, that needs a try catch harness around it. Okay, and after that's completed, we'll call, we can just set our background thread to null. And we'll set our handler to null as well. As such. Okay, those look okay. Now we need to call them. Okay, so we'll start the background thread on the on the resume method of the activity, and we'll stop the background thread in the on pause of the activity. So we'll go to on resume first. Good idea to do this quite earlier on, so I'm going to do it, do it after the constructor. Let's call start. 
gown thread. Now, on pause, I'll probably do this at the very last thing to be done. So, stop. Background thread as such. Okay, a and that's it. Um, a background thread seems to happen invisibly. We're just pushing all our time consuming tasks off the UI thread because we don't want to cause any frame losses as such. So that's it for this particular episode of the camera 2 video image application. We're now in a position where we can actually make a call to the camera device. We've had to set up three members that can get passed into calling the camera as well, connecting to the camera as well. Okay, so that's it for this one. If you want to get notified of the later tutorials of this series or any other tutorials that I'm working on, click on that subscribe button. And surrounding me is all my social media accounts. I do make updates to those every time I publish a video or any other news. So you can click on those if you've got a PC to get up to, to date with all the latest things involved in mobile application tutorials. And also importantly is my website directly above. You can click on that. So in these postings, not only do I include the video, there's also details about GitHub code that gets uploaded and also details of the code changes I make as well. That's all for this one. Bye for now.